The small island of Jersey, not normally recognised for its cricket. However, from the 23rd to the 31st of May 2008, they hosted the Pepsi ICC World Cricket League Division 5 tournament. Twelve countries came together to fight for a place in Division 4, with hopes of eventually qualifying for the 2011 World Cup. Cricket's always been one of the sports we've tried to excel in. Being a, being a small island, we accept we can't excel in all sports. We, we try to do well in all sports. But cricket's one of the ones that's been very popular, always popular in our schools and always popular with adults. It used to be one game a year, one major game a year, which was against Guernsey. Um, but then since we joined the ICC in 2005 or six, I think we, we've been in European Division 2. And then um, just, just now, obviously, we've got into World League 5, so the cricket's become more international over here, which has been great. In 2008, former South African player Peter Kirsten was appointed Jersey's coach to help them achieve their World Cup goal. When he's coaching in the nets and things like that, he's, you, he, he can really spot things with your technique when you're batting and bowling and things like that. And, makes a lot of very good points. We had a visit from some ICC people last year looking at our pitches and so on and they were really bowled over by our uh, facilities and, and I think that encouraged them, our facilities and our organisation and that encouraged them to, to choose us very early on for, for a major tournament. One of the grounds that impressed the ICC was a former potato field which was converted by local farmer Jimmy Pershard. The tournament inspiring more than just the cricketers. I live just at the bottom of this cricket field and I used to look out the window and think, because um, uh, being a keen cricketer, it would be lovely one day to have my own cricket field. And uh, we had our inaugural fixture here almost three years to the day uh, where Mike Gatting played in our uh, very first fixture and Jeff Boycott, uh, who's a resident of Jersey, cut the ribbon and uh, opened our pavilion. Jersey's only very small, it's nine miles by five miles, um, so we, you're never far from anywhere. Um, so great, it's a, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity for Jersey to um, show itself off to people from all over the world because we're very proud of our island and uh, we, we're hoping this is just going to be the first of many opportunities to entertain uh, teams from the, all over the world at ICC level. Oh, it's great for us like, because like I said we, we only really aim for one game a year in, the, in previous years but now we've got a lot more, we've got a chance to actually progress through the ranks of cricket and, and I mean Obviously we've not got ideas above our station, but that opportunity to go up a division is, is a, real, a real carrot for us. And to, play in, to go away to a place like Tanzania to play cricket would be just great. And it wasn't just Jersey looking to Division 4 in Tanzania. The other teams arrived determined to put their best foot forward, from the almighty USA through to Japan and as far as the island of Vanuatu. But it was this team that made an impression on everyone. Afghanistan became an ICC affiliate member back in 2001. Far from their war-torn country, they came into the tournament with only the 2007 ACC T20 Cup on their list of achievements. But there had been recent signs of improvement. For the last two, three years, three years now uh, we have reached uh, to the final in every tournament. And our uh, victory uh, percentage is almost 95. So everybody like this team and they are the proud of my country and uh, they have um, uh, beat many strong teams uh, and, and everybody likes them and loves them. For most of the Afghan players, their introduction to the game was when they had to move to their neighbouring countries during the Taliban rule. My name is Muhammad Nabi. I was born in Pakistan because our family is a refugee in Pakistan. Uh, when I was born in Pakistan, there is a lot of cricket in, in school, in, st in streets, in, the, in my house. In, I have a big ground in my house. Uh, I play cricket here and I learned cricket here. I lived uh, in a refugee camp for uh, for the for 21 years for sorry 20 years in a Peshawar Kachagari uh, refugee camp, and uh, we have immigrated to Pakistan in 1985. 
At that time, most of the team had played together for over five years, and through the development of the game in their country, there was a real feel of unity between the players. This team, uh, this is, team is the combination of young and experienced players. Uh, most of the guys, uh, almost nine guys uh, are those guys uh, who I picked for the under-17 team in 2003 to India. We work on that team for the, in 2003, so five, five years we work on that team and uh, we organize many tours for them and uh, send them uh, to, to many countries for training and admit them in the clubs in Peshawar as well. And uh, we made a cricket academy for them in Kabul and uh, provide a bowling machine for them. Uh, and uh, now uh, this has become a very good side and it's winning. And now we're participating in the intercontinental tournaments. One time when I was heard about the Afghanistan team, uh, some of people making the team. So I just came to the ground and gave, gave them a trial and they selected me. When we won this trophy, and we were more popular in Afghanistan. So it was game on. The 12 teams were split into two groups, with the top two from each going through to the semi-finals. Both finalists then qualifying through to Division 4 in Tanzania. Right from the start, history was being made, as Nepal's Mahabu Lam took all 10 wickets against Mozambique, demonstrating the quality of the cricket. The USA went into the tournament as one of the favourites. They had high expectations as they found themselves in the semi-final. That's our mission, that's the reason for us being here, is to go all the way and hopefully then this tournament to come out victorious. But they lost to Jersey in the semi-final. A magnificent performance from the hosts, beating the USA by 84 runs, putting them through to the next division. Everything going to plan, making a very happy coach. Uh, a brilliant victory, you know, we lost the toss yet again and uh, uh, they put us in on a difficult wicket, uh, first up, quite a lot of moisture around, and, uh, but all our plans that we spoke about worked, we didn't lose wickets uh, early on. Great to see the old head, uh, Stevie Carline there with, uh, with the young talent, Peter Goff, and weren't they brilliant? I think, uh, again, our intensity at training certainly uh, caught the opposition napping, as we did against Singapore. So just great running between the wickets, stealing runs here and there. Uh, we loaded the side with batters. We knew that they had a good bowling attack. So uh, again, just great application of the basics of cricket without having to slog or play harem scarum shots. Just good cricket shots. And they played great cricket the whole week. You know, uh, bowling, batting, fielding has been a revelation. But we put a lot of work into it. So uh, yeah, the good intensity, I think that's, that's what's got us through. Jersey, 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 Jersey. We've had more people here watching cricket this week than we've ever had in Jersey before. The interest in the press and the media that it's generated, the websites and everything else around it has, has created a tremendous interest in cricket. I'm getting phone calls and emails from all sorts of people that I haven't heard of in ages. Fantastic, brilliant. And the excitement didn't end there. The only game Afghanistan lost in the group stages was to Singapore. However, this meant both teams were neck and neck in terms of points. But Afghanistan went through to the semi-finals on net run rate, where they faced an unbeaten Nepal side. This didn't phase Afghanistan, though. They beat Nepal by 37 runs, making them the second team to qualify through to Division 4. The celebration said it all. This is my proudest moment in my life. Uh, because you know my uh, the, my team has uh, done a very a wonderful job. With both Jersey and Afghanistan through, the final was all about pride and rankings. The hosts were first to bat, but they couldn't handle the prowess of the Afghan bowling side. They were quickly bowled out for just 80 runs. The standard of cricket was attracting locals from all over the island. They've all embraced the cricket, they've all played together really well, they've got on really well, um, shared some experiences and I think uh, the whole whole tournament has been a, a credit to Jersey cricket and, uh, and the ICC is absolutely thrilled with how it's gone. Afghanistan went on to win by two wickets. That game very important in uh, this game is my best game in my life. Captain, come forward of Afghanistan, the winners. Yeah! 
mean, we have only one dream, 2011 World Cup. Same, same cricket, <clears throat> same field. We will take to Division 4, then from 4 to 3. And then step by step, we will uh, fight like a, uh, a, a game, like a fight. So, fighting talk right from the start. Eyes forward at the road ahead. The 2011 ICC Cricket World Cup becoming more of a reality.